All right, so what do you think is going to dominate the midterm theme of what has become a circus around the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings or the good economic news and the market news that brought the Dow to a record today? It's 100th record since Donald Trump was elected and the S&P following suit. Which will be the backdrop for voters going to the polls a little more than six weeks, six and a half weeks from now? Market Watchers, Gary Kalpom, Alan Nuckman. We've also got former State Department official Morgan Ortegas. Uh, so let's get a, a sense, Gary, what will drive this. Because if the markets have been worried about the drama on Capitol Hill, they've, they've had a funny way of showing it with their own capital. What's driving these markets? Uh, two simple things, Neil, and we've been talking about it a lot, and that's earnings and interest rates. Earnings are spectacular, Neil, and interest rates remain very low. The last time we had an economy like this, Fed funds rates were 6 percent and higher. We're just still at one and three quarters, too, and around the globe, they still have negative rates, and China just went on another easing program. So you combine those two things together, and markets will definitively go up. And as I told you two weeks ago, if we can get past September, I expect a blatant Amazing last quarter, and it looks like we're starting early. So I'm expecting darn good things. I think the only thing that can change is what happens during the election. But even that, I think we're in pretty good stead right now because how strong things are. All right, now Morgan, I know you're not a stock market person, but you're a pretty good read of uh, political and then and, and diplomatic tea leaves here. And I'm wondering whether that noise, the market noise reverberates going to the polls or or people are as focused as you know we knuckleheads in the media are on 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 the theatrics going on around this hearing well i think that we've got two different things here neil so you know when you talk about the the markets and the economy writ large it's generally in, a, in an incredibly good place it's a historic good place actually for this president going into the midterms you know one almost hopes as a political person that that people won't be you know i'm sure the president's team hope that pre people won't be lulled into sleep so to speak because <laughs> of a really good economy uh, as ironic as as that could be so so while unless we have some sort of major crash i don't expect the market to be a player uh, what I do expect is people to continue to pay attention to this trade war. Um, and, and while it does definitely worry large corporations and people who are doing business around the world and in Asia, I still think from a political perspective, it's playing incredibly well to the president's base because he can say promises made, promises kept. Alan, your read from a lot of investors seems to be, and we've, it, it's played out pretty much as you, you've been saying throughout this run-up, that uh, there's just a bullish wave going on here, despite everything else that goes on. Optimism that the trade situation is settled to our liking, right. that this whole thing maybe on the, you know, the judgeship to the, whether it makes it to the Supreme Court is settled yeah. to their liking. What do you think? Well, I'm a price, not politics guy, uh, <laughs> and I've been, I've been full of bull and I remain full of bull. Uh, there are a couple of catalysts that I think are going to give, an, give the market another kick here. The dollar index has had a blow off top, so we're seeing a decline there. That's very helpful. We're at two month plus lows there. Uh, and also we've got earnings season coming up. So October is a big, uh, big month ahead of us. We're looking for another quarter of 20 percent growth. So let's let's remember where we were. Uh, the S&P low down at 666 back in 2009 was 336 percent ago. So we're on a strong momentum market, uh, and I don't look for that to change anytime soon. You know, uh, Morgan, on those markets and everything else, I mean, it, it, they don't like surprises. They seem to think that w w one way or another, uh, Judge Kavanaugh will still get to be Justice Kavanaugh. I'd like to flip it around in the event he doesn't or something uh, derails on this, and then we have the uncertainty of whether the administration has enough time to present another nominee, et cetera. I'm getting way ahead of myself, but play that out for me. Listen, I don't think the markets are going to overreact if for some reason Kavanaugh were to withdraw next week or something were to happen in the hearing. We went at least 10 months without a Supreme Court justice uh, whenever Scalia passed away. So, so this wouldn't be the first time even in recent history um, that, that we had that sort of political opening. Um, again, I go back to the, to the trade situation, which I think will be much more of a factor. I think a lot of what we're going to see next week Agreed. and this potential hearing is, is it's wonderful reporters, it's wonderful po for political watchers like you and I, uh, I don't think it's going to move the market. Gary, which is more important to you, the trade thing, right? 
Uh, trade really does matter, but Neil, I'm a big believer. It's not the news, it's how markets react to the news. And I must tell you, I'm kind of surprised markets re haven't reacted worse. It, uh, this trade thing has been put to the side as far as markets go, and is definitely looking another thing. And something else happened in the last few days, Neil, which I wrote about a few days ago. World markets put in a bottom. Uh, they put in a low. They have been an anchor on the markets around the globe for a while. But now China, even Turkey, which has all kinds of problems, have bottomed the fact that the rest of the world is bottom is going to give us impetus, and that's why you're seeing us break out to new highs. So, uh, uh, look, for me, it's uh, clear sailing at this second. Maybe something extraneous shows up, but as of right now, looking pretty darn good. All right, guys, thank you all very, very much. So there are two different worlds going on here. What's happening in the political world, what's going on in the market world. The markets right now are betting money that oh, this too shall pass. We shall see.